What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video I have a nice, clean, quick, simple home goods haul that is new in store for you. So I've been going to a couple of home goods over at the past couple days during the holiday season and I found some really good spring and Valentine's Day themed items that I wanted to quickly share with you while they are still in stock. And the first item is here in my bathroom. So if you're interested in seeing this home goods haul, then just keep watching. Thank you. 
Okay, now as many of you may have seen this before, this is an amazing piece of petrified wood that I found at Home Bits a while ago. And I also have this glass um, candle holder from World Market that I love. And then this is from Target, I believe it's the, yeah, the Threshold brand. But I love this little combination we have going on here. But I wanted to incorporate that here because I'm trying desperately to finish these shelves and cannot get the exact thing that I want. So I found this at Home Goods as well well as these um, just plain white washcloths. And I love the fact that it's not only a piece of petrified wood, but it was super affordable and it's got a lot of black in it. So it literally will match any room. I can move it. I could use it anywhere. It was only 19 bucks. So it's kind of like a cousin to the one that I have. It does have a lot more black in it, but I thought it would be super cute to display these just simple plain white washcloths with and again you can get these at home goods you can get these at tj maxx you can get these literally anywhere but i just thought it looked super cute super simple clean and that way if somebody decides to stay and take a shower they have access to toilet paper they have access to towels in the linen closet and now they have access to some washcloths so super cute and expensive way to display them as well as get something that you can use and that's purposeful later on if you wanted to move it so last but not least hopefully i will be able to find a picture for this area because i am dying to find one to complete this little clean i guess like beige and black bathroom that we have going on here all right next are these amazing little black and gold boxes that i found and they actually had all three i didn't even realize that they had all three together until i opened the big daddy at the bottom then i realized inside of it were two other boxes so it comes like this it's got this beautiful almost like rattan textured material and then just a little gold um brass looking accent on the end and then as you can see you can open it up it does have a line inside and then it does come with the medium box, which is the same exact thing, except one size smaller. And then the baby box inside, which I'm so excited about. I love the texture of black. I love that it adds dimension. I have another storage box on this side, so it's kind of got like that black and beige going. And they were super affordable. I also love that they all match perfectly so you've got the black and gold texture going on the black bookshelves and i'm also working on completing these i really want to either spray paint this white or a different color perhaps black and then get some different um, coffee table books to match as well as these you guys can see what a difference it makes having black coffee table books or gray coffee table books like real coffee table books compared to just you know regular books that i've read in my lifetime i mean those are great for reading but not necessarily for decor so i'd really love to pull the kind of a black and gray and neutral theme together by getting some books there and there but for now i love the way that these boxes are down there nice little addition to the collection seeing them only at one home goods i have never seen them in any of the other ones i've been to in the past couple of weeks so I definitely check out your home goods and see what they have for storage boxes for sure and saying that i did see this which is a really nice light um, white wood tray and they also have this in black so if you like this this is still available in store and these are from kirkland's definitely get on it love it a nice little addition to my ongoing <laughs> bookshelf that I'm trying to style. Okay, this next item, you know, is something I have an obsession with, and of course it is pillows. First of all, we have to make sure if we want to, we can chop them. And this is a nice, I'd say medium to large size pillow. It's not a Euro, but it's definitely an oversized square. I just love the neutral color of the background and the black print. It kind of reminds me of the Southwest feel a little bit because of the print, um, but still really neutral in color and only $34.99. It is by the brand Caldera, I believe. 
oh it's belgian look at that manufactured in england and featherfield so 34 bucks for a belgian pillow i did of course get two of them and then just in case you're wondering the back is plain so if it is on a couch it won't be too busy and too much of um overkill because it is nice and simple on the back speaking of simple i love this plant you guys it looks so real um i believe this is supposed to be like a eucalyptus leaf um but the texture of these are so nice as you can see they have the little white um kind of texture on the top of it on top of the leaves and they are really nice like thick rubbery plastic they look so real it does have um moss in the bottom of the planter as well and like a soil and it's in just a simple white base and this one in particular was $24.99 so super clean classic and pretty looking it's definitely got a lot of dimension and um, definitely a lot of volume. So if you're looking for something for the summer, spring, summer time, this is definitely a good time to check out their plant section. And then next, you know, I have an obsession, pillows and blankets. I don't know why, but I do. And I found this one 24 bucks, you guys. Everyone's jumping on this bandwagon, which I am not mad about at all. It is the um, Nicole Miller uh, brand and it's a decorative throw a classic 50 by 60 inch but you guys it has these beautiful off-white ivory hearts and look at that the same on the opposing side so soft definitely a barefoot dreams blanket when i i walked by i just i get caught my eye i saw the hearts when i just walked by and kind of went like that as i was walking by i stopped because it's so buttery soft just like my tj maxx um barefoot dreams um, blanket dupe that I found and this is the same exact price. It's $24.99 Super cute for a gift as well It's like ready to go with the hanger bow and everything so you could just throw this in a bag and be good to go I love it. They had um, a bunch available and I will link in the description box which location I was at when I got this but you guys, it's so good. I love that everyone's coming out with these nice soft throws instead of those scratchy, nasty ones because I use these all the time when I'm on the couch and even sometimes if I'm laying in bed. So really nice, not super, super oversized, but for 24 bucks, absolutely, I'm adding this bad boy to my collection. And last but certainly not least, the grand dame of the entire video, my friends, you have to be a visionary to understand where I'm going with this, so please bear with me. I know this looks com <laughs> completely crazy, but I have been looking for so long for a new updated olive tree for this area. This is also going goodbye. Say your last goodbyes, it's leaving. But in the meantime, while it's still here, I'm trying to get an olive tree for this area and then something wood and warm here. So I've been looking and the only thing I have found that's even remotely near this size is the $400 one from Crate and Barrel. I'm sure if any of you know anything about olive trees, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So I have been on the hunt. I have been searching online. I have been reading reviews, yada, yada, yada. And you find them, yeah. And they're, you know, this one's, I'd say six and a half feet tall without, without the stool. And it's like a stick, literally. People have been showing pictures in their houses. They're terrible. This one is nice. It's not too full. It's not too long. Like the leaves don't come down too long. Like even if I wanted to bend this up, I totally could just so that the leaves are only, you know, like half of the tree. It's got a nice movement to the stalk. I like that it's not just one little scraggly bone right here. It does come with moss and then it did come in this heinous basket. Again, work with me here. We're gonna get a nice, big, ginormous, distressed RH vibe base. Then we're gonna get some more moss, put it on top, break off the little handles, call it a day. So then after that, we are going to, like I said, get rid of this. We're gonna do something warm, probably wooden. So it, this is how it's gonna look, except it's gonna have either a white distressed or a black distressed concrete base. How nice will that be in this area? I'm so excited. Guess how much this was. Can you guess, babe? Now remember, the one that was similar to this was... Wait a second. Before you go through spouting off numbers, the one from Crate and Barrel was 400. Very comparable to this. He says 119. 
Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Oh my gosh, where's the tag? Where's the tag? Okay, well the tag fell off, but I remember how much it cost. And you were very close. It was not 119, but it was 149. What do you think, good deal? It's nice, right? Just gotta get rid of that ugly basket. Switch it out. Okay, so if you're at Home Goods, here is the tag. Obviously, the other one, I don't know where it is. It fell off somewhere. But this is the other tag that it came with. It is from Fair Decor, handcrafted in the US. So here is the other tag that it comes with. Um, I'm gonna go find the other one so I can give you the style number in case you see it. They have so many trees right now. It's not even funny, but this by far is my fave, you guys. So use your imagination. Big concrete base. Love it. Tell me what you think. So I thought that the tag fell off, so I went to look at it and found the receipt in my car and she stapled it to the back of the receipt. P.S. Babe, since I found the tag, I was wrong about the price. I guess I was thinking about the table I got for my mom yesterday. Guess how much it was. Guess again. $99. Right? Mm -hmm. Didn't I get the deal of a century? Deal of a century. Here's the proof, people. Write it down. Cannot believe it. Saves $300. I was this close to getting it from Crate and Barrel. $400. But it's nice, you know what I mean? It's a tree, it's gonna last you years. $99. Run to Home Goods. They had more than one. And again, I will put all the information in the description box down below. 99 bucks. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this Home Goods Shop With Me and Haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.